Right then, we're back. Um, coming into the, well, second third definitely, coming up to the halfway mark. Um, I haven't ashed it yet, and it's um, smoking pretty damn well. Um, same flavours, hasn't been a change of any flavours, but to tell you the truth, I, I don't, these flavours have changed. The sweetness, the mellow sweetness of this, this guy is pretty spot on. It's dry in the mouth, but it's got this woodiness that seeps into this really lovely sweetness. I can't believe how much sweetness is in this cigar. Such a beautiful crescendo of little little flavours just playing along. I haven't got much to say about it because you really just gotta smoke this to understand where I'm coming from. You know, this isn't a. it's definitely a light you're not gonna eat have it like in the evening after a big meal. You're more gonna be wanting to smoke it around maybe lunchtime maybe after a light meal perhaps or just before something midday flavours lovely 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 and this is coming from a guy who prefers his I wouldn't say prefer, there's always, there's always a time and place for every kind of cigar but I prefer like fuller bodied as opposed to light or medium but this is just a wonderfully engaging cigar it's mellow but there's loads of flavour well worth every pound that you're splashing out for one of these you know these aren't cheap you know these are about 12 pounds they're only a small stick but they're quite it's burning pretty damn slow so it's not like burning fast, the draw and the, the burn's pretty good. I've had to retouch it just a slightly but you can't really complain at how this cigar is performing at the moment. I'm just going to ash this quickly. burn now because I've ashed it but the flavours are spot on. I don't even have to drink anything with this with a short robusto because it's not harsh, it's very cool, it doesn't hurt your mouth with like harsh flavours, doesn't dry out the mouth. When a cigar so cool in the mouth, you know that it's such a it's, it's a really high quality, really high quality cigar. I'm gonna come back when it's coming to the end, and I'll give it a final thoughts and a rating. Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Hang on tight. Hi there, um, right, final thoughts, you know, last third, coming to an inch or so of the um, La Flor de Cano, um, short robusto, a little bit of a, an issue there with the burn, however, it's not too bad, getting to the end, such as life. Right. The strength has picked up slightly. Because the strength's upped, the sweetness has gone down. So maybe the youthfulness of the cigar might be coming through where. sweetness at the second half of the cigar 
hasn't developed as the first. But saying that, this is a one hell of a tasty little so-called mellow smoke. Um, rating this, it's definitely 90 plus. It's going to be around 93, 94. I don't like, I'm a tough rater, however this deserves at least a 92, so it's going to, I think 93 is bang on the money. If it, a few years on this, I'm sure the, the sweetness and the, the flavours develop a bit more, it's going to be a 94. Very impressive, it's definitely the best of the uh, UK regional editions, I think the criticisms where the, the previous UK editions have been uninspiring holds true yeah I feel as if they've got this just about right well I think my time is up I'm going to smoke this off camera and bid you farewell so, till next time, happy smoking.